Hey, this is Jordan from Hot Bike. You know, uh, powder coating is kind of an overlooked process sometimes when uh, customizing a motorcycle. If you really delve into uh, looking at the bike, you know, from front to back, you'll notice that the frame, uh, the engine, sometimes foot pegs, uh, brake calipers, uh, they're all powder coated. And uh, it just really adds a nice touch to uh, the finished product. Um, I'm here in uh, Anaheim, California at HB Powder Coating and uh, we're about to get some wheels powder coated for a uh, dirt track racing replica bike. So follow along as we show you how uh, the process is done. I'm here with uh, Jeff Swicker, manager for HB Performance Coatings. Uh, he's going to kind of explain the process of how powder coating is done from uh, start to finish. Okay, when a customer brings us in some parts, we will first degrease them if they need to be with a steam cleaner. And after we do that, we will heat, preheat the parts in an oven, depending on the parts, if they're aluminum or if they're metal, um, to prevent outgassing during the powder coating process. And then after we do that, we will tape off any holes or plugs or anything that doesn't want to be powder coated. And then we sandblast them. And after we sandblast, we pressure wash them again or steam clean them with a phosphate acid to prevent future rusting of the parts. And after that, we will coat the parts and put them in the oven. Now, how long do you leave uh, the parts in the oven? Uh, parts will go anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes, depending on the powder that you use. Um, anywhere from 375 degrees to 450 degrees. Um, they have to cure for at least the cure time once the part is to cure temperature. Okay. So not the whole time in the oven. So if a part takes 10 minutes to cure, it might take 20 minutes in the oven. Okay. The part has to get to temperature. All right. Now I noticed that uh, sometimes if you, uh, you know, you're spraying, you're spraying like a flat finish, uh, do you use uh, like a clear coat sometimes? Uh, not so much on a flat finish. On the wheels we're doing today, they're a metallic finish. All metallics have to be clear coated because the metal can rust. Okay. That's in the, you know, the metal flake can actually rust. Right. So all metal flakes get clear coated. Okay. And other than that, it's really on a customer preference basis. Great. Well, we appreciate the time, Jeff. Thanks so much for, uh, oh, thank for you allowing for us to come. Yeah, thanks. Start things off, the wheels are first pressure washed thoroughly. This removes any grime, dirt, etc. Um, once that's done, uh, they're then taken and blown off with an air hose to remove any of the residual water that may be left. Um, lastly, they're wiped down with a clean rag and uh, uh, then they're taped off and ready to go in the oven to remove any more of the residual grease that could be there uh, to inhibit the powder coating process. A lot of times when we're powder coating things like wheels and there's brake rotors and stuff that go on here you don't want powder on the surfaces because they make it thicker and it can chip away and weaken the, the mating surface of the brake rotors or the sprockets so we use this special silicone high temperature tape it can withstand up to 500 degrees to keep the powder off of the area. Uh, after the wheels are taped they're wrapped with a, a very large chain and a hook that will hang inside the oven for approximately 30 minutes at about 500 degrees. Um, what this does is uh, allows the grease, dirt, grime, whatever to extract completely out of the wheel that, that wasn't able to be reached from the uh, pressure washer. And after that, the grease is exposed and it can then be removed with the uh, phosphate acid pressure wash. Um, once the phosphate acid pressure wash is done, they're thoroughly cleaned, wiped down, and ready for sandblasting. Uh, sandblasting is kind of the final process uh, before powder coating. I guess the final prep process before powder coating, if you will. So here they're powder, or I'm sorry, here they're uh, sandblasted and this basically removes any of the imperfections to get them back to the cast aluminum. Once the parts are done being sandblasted and coming out, at this point we make sure we never touch them with our hands anymore. We have rubber gloves or we use hooks. Fingerprints and grease off our hands will keep the powder from adhering to the metal. Time for powder coat. The uh, wheels are rolled over to the powder coating booth. 
uh, ready to go. They're uh, positioned accordingly for ease of access and ready to be sprayed. Okay, so when we're going to put a powder on the wheels to get the powder to work, the first thing we have to do is have a sufficient ground. Um, what we do is we drive ground rods into the ground, we drill the concrete out and drive them in six feet, and then we use something like this and we attach it to the metal, and that establishes a sufficient ground for throughout the whole rack, for all the parts hanging on the rack. Then the powder will come through a gun like this, through a, a machine that's outside there, and when it comes through the machine it gets electro electrolyzed through a little bit on the end of the gun and comes out and it's just a, a, a dust and it actually works like a magnet, attaches to the part. It just it, it, uh, just comes out and just attaches on and it's just powder and you could take a blow off gun after that and just blow it off if you did something wrong. Or if you don't, then you put it in the oven and the oven melts it and it basically turns into liquid paint at that point. Uh, spraying the powder is actually kind of an art form. You don't want to be uh, too close. You don't want to be too far away. Uh, you want to kind of have the right trajectory in order for the powder to evenly apply. Um, and you need to make sure you coat the entire product, in this case the wheel. Obviously there are lots of crevices that could be overlooked. Um, and if that's the case, um, it's basically run over with a fine tooth comb, uh, in this case a flashlight. Uh, they thoroughly search every crack, crevice, etc. that should be powder coated and inspect accordingly. And if there are any areas that need to be resprayed, they are done so. Uh, once the powder is completely applied, thoroughly checked and inspected, it's ready to go into the oven uh, and will be baked for 30 minutes approximately at 500 degrees. After baking for approximately 30 minutes at 500 degrees, the wheels were then removed and placed on the rack to completely cool. Uh, cooling takes about 30-45 minutes uh, or however long so that you don't burn your hands when handling them. Um, before they went into the oven, they were a little on the yellow side too and they uh, assured me that uh, the wheels would come out a nice gold finish. Uh, and as you can see, they were right on the money. Um, this is the perfect gold that I was looking for for the black and gold theme of uh, the bike I'm building. And uh, these guys did an amazing job. Um, so once they were cool to the touch, they were then taken off the rack. Tape was removed. They were clean and inspected. And now they're being packaged and ready to be put in the back of my truck. Uh, if you're interested in any powder coating, check out HB Performance Coatings on the web at hbperformancecoatings.com.